Congregate was founded by Jim and Emily Greer. They wanted to create an open web platform for developers and indies alike. They originally called it the YouTube of games. My name is Mike Gordon, and I'm the Vice President of Publishing here at Congregate. We saw a lot of web developers making the transition to mobile, and we saw a need for a partner like Congregate to get into the mobile space. I'm Peter Eichemans, and I'm a senior producer here at Congregate. Some of our early challenges when we moved to mobile were really getting a grasp on what players in the mobile marketplace were looking for. We knew what we were doing on the web to figure out what players would like and wouldn't like, but we didn't really have those tools on mobile. So we were really struggling with figuring out how is this going to translate. I'm Tammy Levy, and I'm the Director of Product for our Mobile Games here at Congregate. The Google Play Developer Console provides developers with a ton of really useful tools in a really accessible manner. We didn't necessarily have a good way to distribute builds. So using the alpha and beta testing frameworks within Google Play, we were able to very easily do that. We can add lists of emails, groups of people, Google communities, and rather than emailing out individual APKs, we're able to actually just say, hey, hit this website, accept tester status, and go download a build. And that's all we need to do. That's how you do experiments, right? You don't roll out something to everyone. If it's not good, how can we improve it before we just push it on everyone else? One of our first uses of the store listing experiment was running a head-to-head -head icon test. One showed an iconic hero from the game against a helicopter, which was one of the units inside of the game. Players who were shown the helicopter icon, we saw a 92% increase in downloads of those users versus the ones who saw the iconic hero. So we then moved on to testing screenshots, where we saw over a 14% increase in downloads for the players who were shown the new variant. We then moved on to the text about the game, where we indicated more about the strategy, the types of units players saw, by testing each of these in line, we saw increases across the board. And when you tally everything up, we saw over a 45% increase in downloads for players hitting the new shop. So it was a very successful experiment for us. We basically started going crazy and just applied this to every single game. We know that the results that we're getting are actually actionable. And from there, put it all together and make sure that we're presenting the best game possible. Our advice to all developers out there would be utilize all the tools in the developer console to make sure you set up yourself for success. There's a tremendous amount of information that just lives in the developer console that's accessible by you at any moment. It's really easy to use, really straightforward, and the information there is incredibly useful. To be cliche, you only get one shot at a first impression. So make sure you test everything, because you just want to be sure that the art you love is the art that your players are going to love, and you might not always be right.